To facilitate this series, uh, we have engaged Sarah Buchin, who has a BA in telecommunications and a minor in Japanese from Pennsylvania State University. And Sarah is an instructional leader in Japanese and world languages at the North Carolina Virtual Public School, where many of you are uh, beaming in from. Sarah is an ambassador for online learning, and she's dedicated to fostering student motivation and perseverance in learning languages. We're very happy to have Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And the other team members who are uh, taking part, our director of our Language Resource Center, Professor Julio Rodriguez, who is also head of the Center for Language and Technology here at the University of Hawaii. Ellen Hart is instructional director for world languages and arts education at the North Carolina Virtual Public School, and it's in collaboration with her that we put this series together. Finally, there are three of us, Kui Ya Zhuang, who's not here today, Russ Suvorov, who's listening in, and myself, Stephen Chudy. We are language technology specialists here on campus. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the series website. I do have a shortened Yuan, who's not presenting right now, could possibly copy this link and post it into the chat. This is a website that you need to know about in order to complete some of your tasks. And I'm going to talk about a few of the pieces at the in the website right now. Uh, so this website it is your landing pad for this series. It will uh, take you to where you need to go. Uh, there are several buttons on the website that are immediately visible on all pages. One of those buttons is called content. And that button will lead you to TED-Ed lessons. Now you may not be sure exactly what a TED-Ed lesson is. In brief, we're going to take recorded footage from this webinar, make a video out of it, and that will form the core content for you to study the concept that we're covering. Um, so that content button is going to take you to uh, a TED-Ed lesson. The TED-Ed lesson will show the video from this webinar and then it will encourage you to watch the video so you can review it. You've, you've already been through it live one time, but you can refer back to it as you need. To dig deeper, uh, that is to look at some additional detailed information about the topic that we are talking about and follow some links. And finally, to respond to a discussion prompt in the discuss section of the TED-Ed lesson. It's pretty easy, you just follow the links and, and click all right, now in the website, there's also a button called Q&A. That button gives you the technical information that you need on how to complete the tasks that you will complete in order to get your badge. All right, so uh, I'm going to leave this slide right now, but uh, the link to the website should be available in the chat. And if it's not, we'll definitely get it to you later. All right, so let's talk about these TED-Ed lessons. The, the front uh, when you access the content on, on the series website and you click through to an individual TED-Ed lesson, you'll be taken to a site called TED-Ed. Um, and TED-Ed is a platform to create online lessons on all different kinds of topics. We're taking advantage of it because it allows us to uh, give you more information, to dig deeper, and to discuss. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to watch, you're going to review that webinar footage, you're going to read additional material, and then you're going to participate in a discussion forum. So that's going to be the case for each one of the lessons that we present in the webinar series. Finally, at the very end of the series, you're going to have a document called the 321 Assessment Roundup. And 321, uh, in order to make this document, you're going to follow instructions on that Q&A page on the website. You're going to, there's a, there's a template that helps you create the document. It, basically, you're going to make a copy of that template and uh, you're going to share that copy. This is a Google Doc that you're making a copy of. You're going to share your copy so that other people can look at it. And the people that you want to look at it is us. We're going to be looking at your 321 reflections. Uh, and then you're going to tell us where the document is your new copy of that document that you made, you're going to report the URL of that to us so that we can go and look at it. Um, all right, 
um, that document is only going to be one document that you're going to hand in at the very end of the series. You don't have to do it every time. It's a cumulative product that you're going to hand in at the end. All right, so during the sessions, we're going to be using this Zoom webinar platform that we're in right now. If you're a viewer, which is what most of you are, you will not be able to use, to send audio. That is, you won't be able to use your microphone and you won't be able to use your camera. That's because we have so many participants, we just can't grant that permission. Presenters, like I'm doing right now, will share their screens, so you'll be looking at uh, PowerPoints or, or Google Slides like we are right now. If you have a question, then you can use the text chat to type your questions into the text chat box. In order to find the chat, move your mouse around on the screen and look for a button that says chat. On some machines, it seems to be towards the upper left. On some, it seems to be center bottom. Attendance, if you want to earn a badge, attendance at these webinar sessions is required. If you need to miss a session, then please email our facilitator, Sarah Butin, at seg, that's seg190 at gmail.com. Again, Sarah's email address is seg190 at gmail.com. Uh, in order to, uh, to earn the badge, you're going to complete three things. You're going to attend these webinars. You're going to go through the TED-Ed lessons and participate in the discussion thread there. That means posting uh, comments on a discussion thread using text. And you're going to submit the 321 Roundup reflection document at the end. Uh, if you do all these things, then you will receive a badge. And if you're interested in continuing education units in your own school system, then if you gave us contact information for a supervisor, we will follow up with that supervising person. If you are a North Carolina virtual public school teacher, then this is already taken care of. We're already in contact with Ellen Hart and we will get the continuing education units to you. All right. So that concludes my uh, housekeeping.